So the plan for today is that we're visiting uh, Val de Nuria and uh, we arrived at a village at the bottom of the mountain and we took a train and we've just taken um, a cable car to the top. So we're now going to experience the views um, before walking down with everyone and then enjoy a picnic by the lake and I think that's the plan. So today we had an, uh, quite an amazing trip here in the Pyrenees in Nuria. Uh, it's the last trip of the school season, of the school calendar. Um, we've had trips every week and this day, today was a uh, trip here in Nuria where we visited, for example, the monastery which is just behind us and also other places. We had a little bit of a walk in the mountains and uh, afterwards we'll take the train down back to the town and have a little bit of a walk there as well. Yeah, today we, we visited Val de Nuria and when we went up with the Rec Railway and you saw the lake and it, these amazing mountains around and, and all the snow and, and we went up to, to, to a place at the top of the mountain and walked down and um, then we had a picnic at the lake, uh, walked a little bit around and learned about the history of this place and um, yeah, it was a really amazing day for our last tour with Voluntariat Linguistic. Alright, so uh, what can I say about Voluntariat Linguistic? I think it's one of the best programs I've ever met, I've ever seen in my life because um, you, you get to learn a lot about Catalan culture and language you get to see a lot of places normally you wouldn't get the chance to or even think about le visiting, you know? So uh, it means so much to me. I learned a lot here and I met my best friends in these trips. So it means so much to me. It's, it's one of the biggest parts of my uh, experience in Barcelona, I can say. What we used to have during the voluntariat linguistic trips that we uh, visit uh, specific locations in Catalonia which is uh, very amazing to get to know the culture to get to know the people in the um, in the, the participants of the several activities we usually do every week which is sometimes on a Saturday in Barcelona and the other Saturday we go to different places in Catalonia for example um, Girona, Besalú, uh, Sitges we've been to a lot of places and uh, it's just an amazing way to get to know the culture get to know other Erasmus people and international students as well and um, to enjoy great Saturdays every week again. I have had a brilliant experience with Voluntariat. Um, I, I think I missed the first trip when I arrived in January but since then have been coming to nearly all the trips. Um, I think it's, I've just personally found it to be such a positive experience in terms of um, seeing not only places in Barcelona that you'd see just because they're in all the guidebooks and they're the tourist places to go to, um, but I've experienced so many more areas in Catalonia and um, also have made some brilliant friends as well along the six months and their friendships that will last forever. So it's just been an incredibly brilliant experience and I would recommend anyone uh, to get involved and get to know everyone and get to know Albert. Um, so, yeah, very positive. Yeah, during this year, I think I've, I've done almost all trips with Voluntariat Linguistic. When you first arrive in Barcelona, you, you have that many offers you, you can join. Um, but Voluntariat Linguistic is special. It's like every, every Saturday in your calendar, it's, it's like something special. It's like a trip you go to, you really enjoy, you, you see uh, so many special places in Catalonia you never would visit if, if you wouldn't join these trips. And, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> My experience in general is, is, is absolutely uh, highly recommended. I would highly recommend it to any kind of uh, international student who is going to study and studying at Pompeo Fabra. Uh, it's the best way to get to know the culture of the Catalan culture and also to, um, to visit new locations where you normally wouldn't really think of to visit. Um, for example, a uh, small village like Bessalou which is um, not that famous, but very beautiful because of its old castle. It's highly recommended. And for me personally, the experience has been amazing. I've been enjoying every Saturday. Um, for me, when the new week starts at Monday in school, I'm already thinking about the next trip to join uh, Voluntariat Linguistic. And uh, I would highly recommend it to anyone who is um, 
going to study at the University of Pompeo Fabra? Yes, I would recommend this experience to everybody, every student coming to Universidad Pompeo Fabra because I think it's unique. I think it's something you cannot find in a lot of places, not in a lot of schools, in a, in a lot of universities. I think it, it's, it's the most unique thing that you can ever, ever find in a school. And I, I recommend it to everybody. Yes. I think I would like to say that if you're arriving in Barcelona and you don't know anyone um, and you, you're not sure how to get to know people, especially people from other countries, not just from your home country, uh, it can be quite easy to just spend all your time with people from where you're from. Um, come along on a Saturday, it's such a friendly uh, environment, everyone is welcoming and you just become part of the VL family. Um, so yeah, I'd really, really recommend getting involved. Creo que el programa de voluntariado lingüístico es una buena idea para tal de conocer Barcelona y Cataluña, especialmente para la gente fuera. Y a mes voy a decir, Barcelona es la mejor ciudad. Un poco en imaginarme vivir aquí. The trips Albert organizes with voluntariado lingüístico is for me the best way to get to know the Catalan culture, the region, the country. Uh, it's just an amazing way to uh, explore new places where other people uh, and also tourists but also students wouldn't really go to because you don't really know the places, they're not that famous and Albert knows the places and organizes great trips and that way it's an amazing way to, um, to experience the Catalan culture. Yeah, it's um, the trip to Valdonuya is our last trip and, and uh, I kind of feel horrible about that because uh, Voluntariat Linguistic was like a part of my life in, in the last year and it showed me so many beautiful places and I got so many new friends here in, in Catalonia and, and saw so many places so uh, I, I really will miss it next Saturday when there is no trip and I really can recommend it to every new student coming to UPF uh, from abroad. Join these trips and you will have a lot of fun, see amazing places. Go there.